happy Friday and exploring the final E of the remarkable leader. All of these things I've explored in the acronym Remarkable, which is all about the new leadership mindset. And leaders must learn, but then unlearn and relearn. And these are things that we need to, to relearn. So empowering is our final E. And again, it's one of those words we band about, empower, empower. And I see so many lead, so-called leaders that just find it so hard to empower people. And it could be because that's just not the way they've worked in the past. So they need to unlearn and relearn the art of empowerment. And when you empower people, you increase engagement and innovation and productivity and collaboration and having a sense of purpose. And empowerment is about providing clear goals, providing a sense of purpose, because goals have to be achieving something that's aligned with team and business outcomes. Agreeing on things like time frames, resources available, the outcomes that you want to see, and then getting out of the way. Now, it's not management by abdication. It's about letting that person who you are empowered know that they have the autonomy and flexibility to do what they need to do to achieve the outcomes you've agreed on, but that you are always there to support them when they need help, that there is no weakness in asking for help and you're there to support them whenever they might need that. Empowerment, as we know, is the opposite of micromanaging. All micromanagement says to someone is, I do not trust you. And that's devastating. So we empower people, clear goals, clear outcomes. And I work with all you know leaders, I've said, who really struggle and they go, oh my God, it's going to be anarchy. I'm a command and control person, I'm a micromanager. I don't know how to change. And I say, well, start small. Pick a very low risk activity. Pick a member of your team who will get it if you try and explain to them that you're trying to change a leadership approach and give them the tasks to do. Do what I've said, clear goals, outcomes, the parameters, timeframes, and then get out of the way. And let's see what happens. And do you know what? Magic happens.